Hi, I'm Paul the Happy Gilder. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be looking at a product I've never used before, and that's imitation gold leaf. So, you might wonder why I'd be looking at using imitation leaf when I use actual real gold leaf for a lot of my projects. And the reason is, it just looks cool. Um, I, my mum gave me this. She does kind of crafts and card making and stuff. And then when I started glass gilding, she had a load of these left over, so just gave them to me. So I've had these sat in a drawer for six years probably, and never even thought about using them. But it wasn't till the other day I looked in the drawer and just thought, they look smart. They've just got different tones to them. I've picked some up with my hands and they don't stick to your fingers. So it's just a lot of kind of variation in them that I think could be quite interesting. So I'm going to test them on this piece that I've been working on. You might have seen it, you might recognize it from some of the other processes we've been doing, like the brush blending and applying glitter. So I'm going to be using the same process as I used to apply the glitter, which would be to use clear enamel as an adhesive and before it dries, just to kind of flake that leaf onto it. So this is the first time I've ever done this, so it might work. If it does, this video will be on YouTube. If it doesn't, it'll never see the light of day. So I'm going to change the camera angle and get started. So the first thing I'm doing is applying really thick amounts of the clear gloss enamel. And I'm doing that in sections so it doesn't even start to go tacky because I want this very wet for applying the leaf. Now I started by just sprinkling this on and patting it down but that wasn't really working how I wanted it to. So I moved on to a different technique and although it looks like I'm sprinkling it, what I'm actually doing is pinching large quantities of it between my thumb and four fingers and, and then just pressing it into the wet areas and I'm alternating between the red leaf and the green leaf so that we can get some nice contrasting colours in there but this seemed to work a lot nicer in, in getting it and making sure it was really pressed into that wet enamel so just as a final process I then took some backing tape from some vinyl and then just ran this across the areas um, using a different bit for each time but just to make sure it was all really pressed in so I've left that to dry for a few hours and now I'm just going to remove all that excess leaf from just a standard one inch paintbrush. So all you need to do is just kind of brush this along, you do it in circles as well or just getting, it, getting the bulk of it off. Then I'm going to check to see if there are any gaps and if there is, it'll, I'll make a decision on whether I'm going to apply some more enamel and some more leaf or whether we can fill that with a nice metallic paint. So this imitation leaf is nowhere near as expensive as real gold leaf so there is stuff in here that you could reuse but it just depends if you can be bothered to get it back in the tub like I say it's not very expensive and you get plenty of it so okay so let's have a look and see how that's come out So I'm really happy with that. I think that looks lovely. I think it's a really nice effect and I think it's a really different effect. You know, you can, it's much different than if that was water gilded or just using a standard kind of 23 karat gold leaf. There's just so much variety between the colors and I like the fact that it's sort of pressed on there rather than gilded. So once this is backed up, that'll be the end of the process of applying the fake gold leaf. But if you want to stay around for another couple of minutes, I'm going to finish this piece up by gilding it with 12 karat white gold leaf and then I'm going to apply a photo into this middle section. Now once that's all done there isn't anything that was done on this piece that there isn't a video tutorial of in, in my channel. So I'll put a link at the end of the order that they'll need to be done in but just to show it looks complicated but it's not when it's broken down into the actual individual parts that you do. So I'm going to crack on and get this finished and then see what it looks like at the end.
and this is a finished piece. So every process that I've done from start to finish in making this, I've covered in a previous video. So I'm going to put a link up here, which I hope will have all of the videos in order so that you can follow them and create something similar. If you wanted to create this exact piece, I've put a link to this design in the comments as well. In a nutshell, this was a standard mirror. I've sandblasted the back coating off in certain areas, applied the animal skin glue. When that's contract, that's ripped the patterns into the glass. And that's this really nice effect that you get here, which is called glue chipping. I've then applied 12 karat white gold leaf to the glue chipped areas, then moved on to paint the scrolls and that's covered in the brush blending tutorial. Then added glitter to the letters and then finally added imitation gold leaf to the borders. Oh, and let's not forget adding the photo in the middle, which is one of my old holiday pictures. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon and please share it with anyone else who you think might like it. So till next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.